Do you know that you're a or no? I say hip hip hooray and I jump up and I click my hoofs together. <laughs> Freeze frame. <laughs> <laughs> Credits roll and that was the end of that particular episode maybe. It's all the gold I got of Kelsey's body. For your brother. You hear Mr. Light say, ah, there you are. What if something bad Mr. Light, I found them, they're over here. What? Hi. Can right I away. just say in Thieves' Camp, it's all right, we'll leave. The two of them turn towards you, they look at you, speaking of Thieves' Camp, and they go. <laughs> and Mr. Mr. Light goes, for f sake, <laughs> have we got no secret languages anymore? First they can telepath into our heads, and now they can speak thieves can't. Good, just come this way, we're gonna leave, we're gonna make you leave. And he walks over to a big wheel, one of those ones you I see in a casino. I knew they throw stuff at us. Huge, oh, huge casino wheel, um, uh, oh, like a gambling thing. And he damn grabs it by the side and he just, <laughs> but he turns it the opposite way that he would be doing normally. And this green sort of moat of light appears in the center of it and grows whoa, out whoa, whoa, whoa. until it becomes this like uh, teleport. Let's goes, run away. Just, just get out of here and we won't cause any more problems for you. That's awesome. I'm oh. Do I recognize that at all? Does anyone really? You, this is part of the carnival, not the circus. Gaza. You know that it's a teleportation. Can we run away? I'm assuming. You can try, but I'm these guys are powerful, I'm assuming because it's like you know. Faye touched, usually, like, and they wanted people to stay, that the normal entrance exit isn't the exit, and they seem so fed up with us that I think it might be okay to go through the portal. They're, they're seemingly just been like, but just get out of here, we don't want any back more trouble. find out more about the amber shards. Mm. Yeah, that's the... Let's do what you suggest. You. Let's run away. You can try. So as, you as you're all like, ah, do we do it? You turn around yeah. and start running. Uh, Mr. Running. Light is going to <laughs> whip out the, um, uh, the the scepter towards you and cast the same as he did before with the telekinesis. I need a strength saving throw from you. Throw it! You got it, girl! Where is it? 13. Lucky 13. Plus, I got stuff. Lucky 13. Plus... Three, 16. 16, let me just double check Whoa. whether it's a save or a contested check. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo, uh, telekinesis. I have a feeling we're about to get split up by... <laughs> no, yeah, we are sure. running You can try and move a huge or smaller creature, that's you, ability check contested by your check. So was that a strength save or a, a, a strength. strength check? A strength... A strength check, check it would have been with your three, I think. Yeah. Um, where are we? Yeah, three. So uh, 16 total. Mm. Uh, I rolled an 18 plus his modifier. It's going to be more than that. Great. So as you turn to start running, whoosh, you start running, and then you're like, why am I? And you look down, and you're a foot off the ground as he's just holding you with his scepter, and he lifts you up, and he just, whoosh, just like, ten, just throws you through the uh, the, the portal, whoosh, yeah, and you just hit. You all see, you all see as as, as arrow hits this portal and just. Whoosh, oh, it seems like she's uh, pushing into like a green jello, slows down, and you see. Her, her body kind of start to spaghettify like when you get too close to a black hole and the parts that are closer oh, are, like are so much more attracted to the gravity yeah. that they start to pull out fast, faster than this part is actually oh, no. pulling in and so that's called spaghettification oh, and Arrow just until she's just entirely engulfed in the portal and, we don't and, then, Mr. Oh, and then Mr. Yeah. Light goes are you going through the portal or am I going to have to throw you through the portal um, yeah I'm going to be like I'm going just, let, just, just let me take Dahlia and Calzit and the oh, bear. Body just, <laughs> like, <laughs> we don't need the bear anymore, I guess, because we don't have a ringmaster. So yeah. take whatever you need. And I'm going to walk through. Give you walk through. So you've got Dahlia, you've got the bear. Yeah. And, and Calzit. Like on. pulling him by the. And Calzit's been pushed off of the bear. Um, well, just you're say, way too. You've got I'm a too, negative two strength in your tiny Can so somebody you, help me? <laughs> yeah, can somebody help me? Yeah, I am trying to guide the bear with my speech. <laughs> Pull Cal Calzet up onto the top and they're like, why are you taking his body? I don't care. <laughs> just take him. Um, and you start to lead them through. Are you still running? Ah, <laughs> uh, no, I'm go I'm going. And on the way through, I go. Perhaps next time you will consider being a little more polite. Politeness can get you a long way in this world. <laughs> I gave you so much popcorn at a discount rate <laughs> to try and keep you happy. That is true. And then you tried to kill my friends. <laughs> well, swings and roundabouts. Get through the portal. <laughs> go, 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 go. <laughs> You all leap through the portal. Can you like, like, go like this as you jump through? <laughs> 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 uh, and you all die. <clears throat> um, that's the end of the campaign. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, this is the first time that any of you have experienced teleportation, uh, other than Misty Step, which is a much smaller, yeah. very weaker version of this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that feeling when you teleport for the first time? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the body's sensors are screaming in protest at the lack of logic as your oh, constituent no. parts are pulled and stretched, compressed Ooh. and manhandled like a giant is using your bones as molding clay. Mm. Is it painful? It's uncomfortable. Okay. We don't lose points of health. You know, no, it's not going to hurt you. This is all thematic. Okay. Um, your eyes swim through an assortment of greens, but your brain, in a futile attempt to make sense of the input, try to interpret them as emotions or music. Soon you're seeing tastes and hearing texture. Almost as quickly as it began, you re your reality rushes back in and you slap down onto wet ground. I need a dexterity saving throw from each of you, please. See if you can land on your feet. Uh, 10 plus 16. 7. Oh, 16, plus 7. 4, 14. 14. Yep, 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 yeah, sorry about that. Oh, yeah, 6. Yeah, no, 6. six. <laughs> yeah, sorry. The two of you land prone <laughs> down into seemingly some sort of uh, shallow water. Uh, I will oh, water. Fine. Mm. <laughs> oh, no, what can I do with that? My... Oh, no. Uh oh. <laughs> is it running water? <gasps> it is not running water, oh, it is r somewhat stagnant water. Okay, except for the ripples we made, I guess. Yeah. Is that, can it's, you move? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I think it's just rivers and yeah. oceans. It is, so the lore around you crossing running water comes from uh, running water being cleaner than mm -hmm. stagnant water, and so it like is, is generally considered more holy. Um, so standing water like this is definitely something that's not going to affect you. Uh, you slam down boosh, into water. The two that uh, got above a 10 managed to land on their feet, but the other two of you, where are you? <laughs> That's it. Uh, where did the other two go? Can here they fall like holding hands? I'm going to, well, I'm going to roll my oh, uh, we'll randomized direction dice to see okay. north, south, which way do you go? So starting with you, you fall somewhere towards the west, so we'll put you over here somewhere. Uh, then we'll go to you. You're in the northwest, so you're over there-ish. Uh, then we'll go to Horatio, who's in the northeast. <laughs> so you're all lying down. And oh, that's the wrong one. <laughs> it's just Calzette's body, I guess. Oh, yeah. yeah, I thought, uh, oh, yeah, the his body, I guess. <laughs> and you went through together, so I'll put you in the southeast somewhere over here, and poof, the body falls off of the back of the bear. That's oh, fine. And Dahlia comes with you. <laughs> all right, so you slam down in the, in the swamp at various areas uh, mm. around you. It's not exactly a swamp, actually. You, uh, your surroundings are very beautiful. Um, the, while the carnival was bright and colourful in an overproduced, hypersaturated kind of a way, the <coughs> wetlands that you now find yourselves in are uh, it's bright and colourful in a more calming and natural way. Life around you is teeming with innumerable frogs and toads yeah. and insects and birds, all just singing a discordant orchestra of instinctive needs. I need a nature check from each of you now to see something about the wetlands, Ooh. see if you pick up on the wetlands. Is this like um, um, Auntie Ethel in Baldur's Gate? 12. Is it like that in like what way? And like, it looks... Like it might be fake? Yeah. Maybe. Maybe okay. if you're all good enough. I hope so. Was it nature? I love spooky shit. Ah, total with your nat one, nature? Zero. So oh God, <laughs> negative one. Thirteen. So for a total of zero. 12. 12. 12. 13. 13. 11. 11. Okay. Um, with a 13, uh, and a 12 actually, uh, you will both notice that the wetlands seems, there's a few hints that it might have been a, a bit more of a murky swamp until more recently. Um, a, few, a few months ago perhaps, life started coming back in, colour started coming back in, um, there was, there's, more, there's more animals living here now, but there's still signs of like the mud line on the trees being a lot higher, like mm. the water has receded recently. Um, there's 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 a lot more like rotting fallen uh, trees that have started to sprout new life and fungi and stuff, but is is still in the process of recovering. It's a recovering wetlands. Hmm. What I wonder. Mm, okay. Indeed. Mm. All right. I will need a perception check from each of you now. Mm. Ten Thanks. plus four. Fourteen. Fourteen. Sixteen. Sixteen. Five. Five. <laughs> Eighteen. Eighteen. Okay. Two of you don't, which means here and here. And the two of you do, which means they're in there. Okay. Uh, da -da -da. All right. Yep. Yeah. So you see the two of you with your highest, and you got it just on with a sixteen. 
uh, you just at the last second spot that um, a little little froggy hand mm. has come up mm. and grabbed the um, uh, was it an amulet? The what was the your brother's <gasps> pendant? Pendant. You see a little froggy hand has grabbed yeah, absolutely it not. and is like right next to you, and you see a tiny little frog man is just stealing from you and about <laughs> to run away. Hey. Um, from you, we see you, you, you face down in the in the dirt. Um, also, your perception uh, modifier, your perception score, and your nature check, and all of that is at disadvantage because you were exhausted. Oh, I didn't do that though. So roll it again with dis with disadvantage. Wow, I think this is higher than what it was before. Yeah, you failed it anyway, didn't you? Yeah. Um, so your so the two of you failed. Yeah. Ah, uh, I passed you. Um, the nature does matter. Okay. It was mostly for flavour. All right, um, you will notice as you're pushing yourself up from the water, you see that this little froggy man has grabbed your war gong <gasps> no. and he's like, <laughs> and he's like, sees you, see him, and, <laughs> and he turns to as, as if he's about to start running away. But the two of you don't notice with your lack of perception score that uh, yes. that froggy men have stolen things from each of you as well and are about to run away. So with you two noticing notice. these frogs, you hear them uh, uh, rivet out and then just start to jump away. And you see them, not only do you see the ones that are stealing from you, but you see the ones that are starting to run away from the people that are stealing as well. As these two leave your melee range, having seen, having seen what they are stealing from you, what do you uh, what do you wish to do about it? You two, right? Just these, just yeah. these two see it. I'm I'm a, I'm a getting my javelin out. You don't see it because you're <laughs> face down in the mud. Like... <laughs> you're getting up. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go, Steve! And then I'm gonna get me, me dagger out, me daggers out. You're gonna take an attack with your dagger as he, as he leaves? Yep. Okay. Um, I'll say 18 plus stuff is definitely enough to hit. Uh, it's not gonna be with your dagger as you, uh, as a reaction, it's just you hit with whatever you've got out, which is yeah. just, you punch him. Yeah. Uh, so 18 plus stuff is enough to hit. Uh, so it's gonna be one plus your strength mod, you do four points of, po four points of bludgeoning damage to the back of this frog's head. Nice. <laughs> Pop <Wait>. him. <sighs> a frog? Wait, what? Fucking uppercut! Kick to the chest! Oh, he's got my medallion. I had no idea. Just pop you. him in. Oi! Oh, my. Yep. You slippery little guy. You pop him in the back of the head. He's still alive <laughs> and he's going to continue to run away, but you can now give chase. Uh, what do you do as a re reaction to the one that's. Because you're still prone. <laughs> you're like, oh, you're pushing yet. yourself up, but you see him grab your war gun and start to run away. So I don't have my javelin out by any chance, do I? <laughs> just, yeah, as I was going through this portal, being like, whoa, I can whoa. taste textures. Whoa. This is so weird. I'll get my javelin out and they inspect it. Exactly and you land it down. <laughs> if you want your javelin out, I will then have you make a deck save against landing your, on it and impaling yourself. Because oh. it would have been out in your hand. Okay, should, should I do a saving? Do you want to have your javelin oh. out at the risk of impaling yourself? Oh, no. No, <laughs> didn't, didn't think about that. I was like, I was like, oh, that was a very willing, <laughs> very, very willing yes. No, I can't. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna have to unarmed punch. And I'm, you just yeah. unarmed punch, try and slap him, and with a six plus six. your modifier is probably gonna miss. Oh, it might not. What's your? Uh, is it? Is it this one here? The unarmed strike. Unarmed strike. Right yep. Yeah, plus, plus three. Three. So six plus three is a nine. Yeah, that's gonna miss. Um, so it, it, you makes reach you out and just go. slap, slap at him, and that's and it's with disadvantage as well because he's because uh, you're prone, oh. but it doesn't matter. Uh, and then we will go into initiative uh, with, with some bullywugs because it might be a chase, it might be a fight, uh, we'll, we shall see. This is not going to be like an all-out combat, we just came from one of those, I don't want to bore you all. Uh, so this is going to be sort of like a simplified combat that I sometimes do where you all roll initiative, I average the score and you either just go ahead or, ahead or behind the monsters essentially. So uh, roll me an initiative, mod, uh, initiative check. You have disadvantage because yeah. it is a considered a an, an ability check. Okay. Oh exhaustion. Fourteen. Yeah. Uh, at disadvantage, thirteen. Uh, did you roll this one for you? Oh no, that was, I was going to say you rolled a. Oh four. sorry. Yeah, you're good. Fourteen. Fourteen plus your initiative modifier, which would be on the top of the first page. Oh. Top of the first page. Is, oh, it's only plus one. All that for a plus one. <laughs> so so fifteen. Fifteen. Four. Four. Thirteen. Thirteen. Disadvantage. With disadvantage yeah. Four. <laughs> and four. All right. So averaging that. Okay. And then they are going to get a <laughs> nat twenty. So they. Oh, these they guys are. are they? Basically, it's just going to be them, then you, then 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 you. Can't um, see the dice, so I'm going to. Not <laughs> <laughs> Don't give a shit. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'll, I'll roll again just for you. Oh, it was a nat thirty that time. 
Um, TPK. <laughs> TPK. Uh, so the, they, they get up, they start jumping away. At this point, you guys are starting to get to your feet, and so you didn't see them initially, so they got that sort of that head start on you. Yeah. Um, but they do then then continue to run. So this one, whoop, just going to run away. This one, whoop, runs away. This one's going to run away, and this one's going to do the same. Whoop, jumps close to, yeah. but past you, essentially. Um, they are they're running with their with their belongings and everything. Oh, oh I hate when they run with their belongings <laughs> and everything. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, god damn it! I hate when frogs run away with my belongings. Oh, oh it makes me so mad. Oh. <laughs> So they're, they're, they're oh running, my. it's either a fight or a chase, depending on whether you've got ranged attacks or whether you can give chase at them or anything like that. Sure. What do you guys want to do? Just all, all at once, you can decide what you're going to do. You don't I'm have to go chase, shooting. Chase them you're going to shooting. You're going to be shooting, yeah. make an attack roll for me. Chase you're going to be chasing to so just make an athletics check. This is all at difficult terrain, so moving through swamp, it's like mm -hmm. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So you're moving at oh. slow speed. So. Can I move a bit? Uh, yeah, you can give chase, and because I'm you can fly, okay. you can just give. Six. You can keep up with them a little bit better. Make me that attack roll. Eighteen plus six. Yeah, you're able to push push yourself a little bit further and get up to within melee range of this guy. Mm. Uh, I'm chasing. Not disadvantage on attack rolls, just okay. ability checks. Okay. I'm chasing, and I got. You're chasing, um, so you stand up for half your movement. You yeah, got really. 5, 10, 15, 20, That's about as, as much as you got. Make me an athletics check. See if you can dash. Twelve through plus this. seven. Cool. Is Let's see if you can dash. At uh, 19. As we all know, no. <laughs> yeah, I did it. All right, so you're giving chase. <laughs> no, yeah. chase. But thank you. you um, I want to, can I just think of the water? I get up. You stand oh, up. Yeah. Yeah. There's, water half yeah. there's a lot of, oh, there's a lot of water. I'm going to say, uh, because you're in water and you're standing up pr from prone in water, it's only going to cost you five feet of movement to stand up instead of half. So you like just swirl yourself. Oh, yeah. Yeah, your look at your gut, okay. girl. She's okay. in her okay. element now. Um, <laughs> literally. They're all a bit, <laughs> they're all a bit spread. Oh, they're, they're all there's a bit spread. There's one that's pretty close, but in melee with, with Arrow now. Arrow's like gaining on them and just oh, about to grab. Oh, don't worry about that one. I'll get him. <laughs> yeah, okay. There's also yeah, one that's jumping across from here that you can see is holding uh, your longsword. Oh, yeah. your longsword. And is oh, he's got my longsword? Yeah, and he's now running away with it. <laughs> um, you really need uh, it. And then you can see that the one that is jumping away from uh, from uh, Sneaky is got like a beautiful dress that you've become quite familiar with until very recently. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I feel like using water won't work because they're frogs. They're just going to be like, whatever. Depends, what you, depends what you do with the water. Mm, freeze, freeze them in it, it like you did the mm, zombies. Yeah, that freeze could work. Go into yeah. that thing that crocodiles get where they have to like... They are. Everybody is in like a good couple of feet of water at this point. Yeah, can I? Almost like I, I made this encounter to, <laughs> to, to suit me. To suit okay, me. cool. Um, I, yeah, I want to cast some water and somehow only freeze them, not us. You can do that, you yeah, because yeah. yeah. okay. uh, shape water is a is a cantrip. It's cantrips are the lowest level spells. They're like you okay. can do them infinitely because they don't cost spell slots, but at the cost of it not really being that powerful. Okay. So shape water you can you can freeze up to one five foot cube. So you could free you could choose one of the the frogs and just <laughs> freeze them in a cube. Okay, I'm gonna freeze. And yes, you're not meant to be able to freeze things if there's an object uh, if a creature in it. I'll allow it, but he'll get oh, saved. Okay. Um, I want to freeze. Who's got that pendant? This. This one, that this one guy. grabbed the pendant and she's reaching out and about to grab him. Mm. I'm going to grab him by the scruff of his little weird This one's shirt. got your gong. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Go do I be gong, selfless babe. or do I gong, be babe. selfish? I don't know. Do you know about the pendant? What do you want to do? Like, mm. oh, you she told us. I, I, I said, you did I, yeah. Oh, that is the last one. You told sorry of your brother uh, and you talked about the pendant. pendant. Okay, but no, I did yell thief, so you wouldn't. I'm going to save mine then because I don't understand the So for this guy, so he's going to make a dexterity saving throw against shape water freezing. What's your spell, DC? 14. 14. Uh, yeah. yeah, you got 17. So as you, <laughs> you freeze up a cube of ice, and he manages to push away from it. Uh, There's a little froggy. We'll with a leap frog. Oh, yeah, a bit of a jumper, isn't <laughs> <it>? <laughs> nice. There's a little leap frog up onto the top of the ice cube. So he's not encased in the ice. He just like <laughs> jumps out of jumps out of it as it starts to freeze from the the, the, the oh. ground. Jumps up and lands on top of the ice cube. Oh. Yeah, unfortunately he made his save against that. So uh, that's your action. <laughs> freeze the freeze the guy. Oh, Failed. You've got movement. If you want to now move, you've got 25 feet of movement left. Which I might is just like, move towards him. Yeah. All right. So that's 15, 15, 20, and a little bit further. He's Moving through. Oh, actually, for you. She You're a water know. elemental. I'm going to say you can move through without the difficult terrain uh, oh, disadvantage. Yeah. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So you're able okay. to sort of just push through the water. You, I think like as an elemental and a water elemental specifically, you're a little bit more um, 
a little bit more malleable to your body shape. That's one of the reasons you can disguise self and stuff. And mm -hmm. I think like in this moment, like you, you, you just kind of sprout more webbing in your toes and stuff and you just mm -hmm. whoosh and you kind of push yourself through the water with uh, greater speed. It feels so good to be back in the water. <gasps> That's just stunning. Oh, thank you. How do you do it? You're so graceful. Thank you. You move like there's no gravity. Like gravity doesn't really exist. Okay, um, that is you. That is your movement, your action. Uh, it's back to them. I think that was everybody. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, you didn't make your attack, yes. Um, I rolled a 16 plus 7. There's 23. Definitely hits. Roll that damage. Uh, you don't get sneak attack because he's not, advan he's not yeah. um, disadvantaged. And I'm um, t teeny, so. And you're teeny, so it's a d4 plus your modifier. Oh, so that's... Five. <laughs> Minimum damage. Five. It's still pretty good. You know, it's 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 more than anything. Uh, more than more than nothing. Does um, he look bloodied? Looking bloodied. Yeah. Half health. <laughs> this one was also knocked by you, right? So it's taking some amount of damage. Uh, they're getting away though. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Because it's now their turn. Uh, um, because we're running out of map, what I like to do instead is just push you all back by the same amount, because cool. then it's relative distances to each other it stays the same. Thankfully, since I broke my fingers and now that's as straight as it goes, that actually turns out to be exactly 30 feet. Oh. So, so the silver lining oh, means perfect. that I can just go 30 feet, 30 feet, <laughs> and it's perfect. And you're leaving behind Calzette and, uh, and the, the, the bear and everything. Yeah, a little um, bit. I don't so they are going to leap, and they're going to leap, and they're all rushing in a very, you can tell that they are all rushing in a very similar direction. Really? This one's going to leave your melee range, so diving out of your melee range, you take an attack of opportunity if you want. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. You've, still not got your, you've still not got a weapon out because you were pushing through the uh, swamp before. Just fists. Uh, I'll allow it, actually. You, you, you can draw a dagger as you're pushing through a swamp. Sweet. I pull my dagger out and I go... I only pulled a seven, though, and so my dagger is plus six. Uh, seven plus six. Thirteen. Thirteen is not enough to hit their hide armor. Ah. Um, they are... Oh, in fact... Yeah, these are the sneaky ones, so they wouldn't have their shield bonus, which would take it from 15 to 13. It's just enough. Okay. So it's just enough to hit through the hide armor as you are jumping, uh, as it's jumping away. Two you reach out, plus stab him. three. You reach out and stab him, and as he jumps, <laughs> it just goes face down into the water, unmoving. Yes. Nice. Yeah. That's what you get. Okay. Unmoving as undead. Sorry. Unmoving as undead. And unmoving as in unmoving. You just got stabbed in the back with a dagger. You have to find out if it's dead if you want. Mm. Uh, then it's over to you guys. They're leaping away. What are you going to do? Um, shoot it again. If I <laughs> cast like an Move L again. <laughs> Flying after him. Keeping up, keeping up the pace. Make your attack roll. If I, if I blasted with Eldritch... Eldritch Blast. Ooh, yeah. Is that going to like hurt anyone else? No, Eldritch Blast isn't like a cone. It's just a single directed line of something. Okay, <laughs> cool. For you, I imagine like a line of superheated water. We're really yeah. getting to see how cool you are. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I sort of like mental note. Sneaky's like, whoa. <laughs> what? Yeah. What's that? Uh, I'm going to Eldritch Blast my guy. He's, he's just he... leapt up onto Wait, the top what? of a... Um, uh, uh, you're a level five, so yes, you can make two beams with your Eldritch Blast. I'm going to get both of those. <laughs> One oh, of each of those. Uh, so roll your attack roll with your spellcasting modifier. Oh, this is where I where you, where you found the 14 before, oh. it's the number that was next to that, the plus something. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, thank you. Uh, what was your thing? 22 altogether. Uh, 22 definitely hits. Roll the damage just in, just in case. Oh, in fact, minimum was before, wasn't it? And I already wounded him, so go again in case. See if you overkill him. Four plus four, eight. <laughs> yeah, eight. You, you, you take this, uh, this, this frog just right through the back of the head. <laughs> Give me my, my sister's uh, uh, dress. My sister's dress. <laughs> Hits through the back of his head and he just goes bloop into the water. Good. Um, that is, what was your Sorry, Eldritch Blast yes. attacks and what are you guys doing? So I'm 18 and then... 18 plus your modifier is definitely going to be enough to hit. It's going to oh, yeah. hit him. Uh, roll your Eldritch Blast damage, which is which the is D10. The D10. Ooh. Um, plus your whatever it is. Uh, I don't think it's plus anything. Yeah, that's ten. Four. Four? It doesn't say plus anything, right? It's just a D10. Yeah, sometimes, no. sometimes warlocks can take certain features that add to that damage, oh, but yeah. I don't think you've taken those. So four points of damage, poof, uh, knocks it. I don't think you've got any features for your Eldritch Blast that'll oh, push it, pull pushy. it. 
because there's additional things that a lot of wallets can do. They can, anytime you hit with an Eldritch Blast, you can pull them, or you can push them, oh. or you can slow them, or you can other things. I don't think any, you've taken any of that. Okay. So he takes the damage, at the very least, starts bleeding over the uh, ice, <laughs> um, uh, and then your other one uh, flew out at the guy that was getting shot, and so his, as he gets hit through the back of the head, poof, Eldritch Blast also hits him, and he tumbles into the water a bit. Did he drop the dress? The dress, is, the dress is dropped, but definitely under some swampy water, uh, um, wetland plan. water at yeah. some point. <laughs> I, I'm like 60 feet away, kind of. Uh, yeah, about 60-ish, give or take. Can I, can I run, 60? can I dash 30 feet? You can, uh, yeah, so make me an athletics check, DC 20, to see if you can push through without any difficult, uh, any, any negative steer difficult terrain. Mm, that's no. not very good. So you're going to be able to dash, but uh, it's going to take your dash action to move just to there. You're only going to move 30 with a dash because you're moving half speed through okay. swamp, through uh, no, uh, wetlands. I'm gonna I'm gonna cast my mage hand spell and just oh, nice. and grab the sword nice. out from him. Cool. All right. So you're gonna try and wrestle this ma- uh, wrestle this off of him with a mage hand, which I've got in here somewhere. Uh, there it is. Goodies. All right. This mage hand appears Cute. next to him. Um, make a grapple check with the mage hand. I'll allow this. Rolled a ten. Uh, sorry, is grapple? That's uh, not under ten plus stuff's not going to beat him. Unfortunately, I rolled a seventeen. Oh. Um, it's it. Sorry, yes, grapple isn't um, a specific skill. That was my, that was on me. Oh, it's no, it's okay. uh, it's a grapple check, but you roll an athletics check to do so. Aha, uh-huh. seventeen. Uh, unfortunately, it's the hand's athletics, not yours. Uh-huh. And the hand specifically says in the spell, if you look at it, it yes. says it can hold up to ten pounds of stuff. So it's a very weak kind of a hand that's used for fine manipulations of things. Uh, it, it would be pretty. It would. I allowed it because frog's pretty weak as well. Um, but the frog happened to roll well on this one. So the, the hand reaches out, grabs a hold of the hilt. It can't take slashing damage, thankfully. So it's, uh, sorry, not the hilt. It grabs the blade, and so it's, it's like. And then the frog just yanks it out, and it, oh. your hand is still there. It, st- it stays conjured in case you want to try it again another time. Uh, but the frog is is uh, is using. Can- Using his strength to get away. Can I tickle him? Yeah. Tickle him you've to the already, ground. You've already used your action oh, to dash okay. and another okay. action to okay. conjure a mage hand. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I've overstretched by giving you two actions already. Okay. Um, that is you and then uh, Arrow. She's going to dash. You're going to use your dash to get all the way to him, yep, through the swampy water. Ow. You can make a difficult uh, a athletics check DC 20 to see if you can do so, get there without a dash. Okay. Ten, so... Ten plus, you don't have ten uh, athletics, so no, you, you are going to have to use your whole dash to get to the body. And then my bonus action is to... And then bonus action, make an investigation things. check to yeah. uh, to see if you can find the pendant that's somewhere ow, around ow, the... Ow, these knives are sharp. <laughs> <laughs> um, Sixteen. Sixteen, plus your investigation, that's going to be enough. Your hands go down, you you look around, it takes you a few moments, but you, you feel it. Sticky little pockets. And Yuck. You get it out of the swampy, murky water. <laughs> That is you. Uh, I think that was everybody. So back to them trying to run away. Who's who have we got left? We've got the guy with your thing and the guy with your thing. Yeah. This I'm one is going to hop with its leap <gasps> onto you. Ew, and it's going ew, to try. Ew, yeah. Slimy. Yeah. <laughs> that was quite a reaction to a frog jumping at you. I can just so think, just slimy what's that out. part about the, the frog where it's like does a little... Like, like, the, like, the, 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 I hate that. And they've got yes, diseases, yeah. right? Aren't they poisonous? Toads. Poisonous. Sometimes. Oh, no. Yucky, all toads, yuck. all toads but these are, are frogs, frogs, right? Because they jump more. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all, toad, all toads are frogs, but not all frogs are toads. Um, <laughs> that's one of those so things. Yeah. Uh, it is going to, it is going to, it's going to attack you. Uh, it's going to jump on you and make an attack. Uh, Sneaky, get my sword! Let's see, it's going to go with a bite attack. That's a 19 to hit. So it's going to hit you for, where's the d4s? There we are. Frogs don't have teeth. Ugh, terrible. Um, it dummy little doesn't need mouth. teeth to bite. It's got uh, two points of damage. <laughs> oh. um, Is there any point? <laughs> 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 Pathetic. Oh. <laughs> this one is going to jump off the map, so Wait. again, I will move everybody else. A back. reaction that I can use as many times, right? Yep. Can I uncanny dodge that? <laughs> you take it to one, yeah. Yeah, take you it take to one. Take it down to one point of damage. And can I um, just like. Yuck, Rob. Just disapprove. Yuck, <laughs> This one has leapt away, leaving its, uh, leaving its ice behind. Okay. So this one's starting to get away now. 
but I mean, the other ones are not oh, as not much of a gold. problem. Does that one have your gold? I thought it was just so powerful, but clearly not. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. This was designed around I you me, specifically. And, my and you're, the one who's, <laughs> you're the one who's getting away. <laughs> no. I'll try you're to like, help. Ice. Nope. <laughs> nope, not that. I'll okay? no, yep. not that. Are you okay if I shoot her one since it's getting away? All right. Uh, so that was them running away. You guys. Oh, I'll wait. Okay, I'm gonna. What, what about yeah, Eldritch Blast them again? I, I you can might put even... both of them on one guy now, now that the others are dying. Can I try even like a, a fog cloud around them so oh, that they could, just yeah, get, they disorientated? get disoriented? Sure. And there's only 120 feet though, and I'm not very close. So uh, I think more, more 120 more. feet is this entire map. Oh, I'm sweet. <laughs> Each of these is five foot, so that's 30, 60, 120. Oh, okay, so I can. You okay, can. I want to cast absolutely. fog cloud. Okay. Um, um, where did I? Oh, it's on. We're using it. Basically, to um, disorientate. One of the downsides to using the map book. Mm -mm -mm. Ooh. I'm going to use Ooh. this. Ooh. Fancy. Close you guys enough. didn't see Close that, enough. but it was cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like a little sticker book. He's running, he's running, and then you whoosh, wow, stick a fog cloud cool. right underneath oh, that's him. cool. Yeah, cool. Huh? Uh, no, it, it just happens, oh, and then the okay, he's great. considered blinded by oh, the fuck. Oh no, I should. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could see. Um, yeah, no, it's all good. That's your action. Okay. You, you sort of conjure. It's kind of like the woo <laughs> conjuring it rain in the first fight. Yeah. <laughs> but instead, you're just kind of swirling around some of the mist. It's, it's like the evaporation from the the, the wetlands. <laughs> so that's to swirl around, coalesce very quickly. Woo! Let's make it. How's that? You can't see anything now. Neither can I. Shit. Uh, anybody else? What are you doing? Um, uh, oh, sorry, you go. No, I was going to say I probably can't see him though now. Nope. Yeah, I can't see him. <laughs> sorry about that, everyone. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's a yeah. good foresight there. <laughs> You're all good. Is this one still alive? No, definitely not. Oh, oh perfect. Um, no, I wanted to kill it. I wanted to shake him around a bit and be like, where are you going with our stuff? Um, oh, yeah. I'm going to go over here. You can just give chase to this guy, see if he leads you somewhere. Is this one still alive? That one's still alive. I'm going to go help. Okay, make an athletics nice. check, see if you can get there without using a dash. Nope. Yeah. Oh, actually, let's see, have you got a plus seven? On me athletics? athletics? I've got plus six. Ah, so close. DC 19 is not DC 20, so uh, unfortunately you are going to use your d action to dash to get there. Okay, and then my bonus action is... <laughs> Hey, you slimy little freak! Yeah. Tell us where the f you're going. He's not distracted, eh? Nope. All right, stab. <laughs> <laughs> stab him instead, then. <laughs> Are we all good? <laughs> Do if a frog could cry, it'd be, it would probably be pissing itself and crying right now. Oh. Are you proud of us? <laughs> Playing with players that take notes, not having to beat them over the head with things like seven <laughs> times. Hi everyone, thanks so much for watching this episode. Uh, exciting news, if you like watching Ali and I on camera, it might be because we have ADHD, I don't know, or our personalities, maybe both, but um, because of ADHD, we made an entirely new show and uh, it's available now. So click on it, don't get distracted, just click directly on it right now and it'll, it'll take you to an episode. Good luck. Stay safe.